Hello, ma'am. Hi. Do you have a second? Can you talk to us? Sure. All right. So I'm Agent Kai Pettis, the Mexico State Police, okay? And right now we're here to execute a search warrant for, uh, is this Court King's residence? Yes, it is. Okay, for 314 East Lewis Street? Yes. Okay, we're here to execute a search warrant, okay? Okay. Um, we're not here to break anything. There's just a few items we have to collect. Okay. Can um, I ask what those are? I mean, just... Yes, and they're part of the search warrant. Um, mm -hmm. But right now, we just need to get everybody out. How many people are here? We need to clear to make sure there's no, like, we're not a harm, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, so how many people are here at the there's house? This is me and my son and my husband. Not Corey, but my other... Okay, is anybody that have firearms or... Uh, yes, there are Or firearms. could you open the door and just call for them here? Sure. Um, uh, Keegan, <laughs> Gary, can I ask why? I mean... Yeah, you'll get a copy of the search warrant, so... Well, can I ask? Yeah. I'm, I'm calling. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just asking. Yeah, I understand. Um, so right now we're working on an investigation with Corey on a few incidents with the person and a police officer. Okay. And obviously what he's doing is, is he he follows the pursuits or our pursuits and he's been pulling people over. Okay. And then he has documentation of that by his okay. computers and stuff like that. Um, so that's why we're here and we're just here to collect those. So if okay. you could just tell us where his room is. Sure. And that'd be um, the fastest right way out here. Put, put Bella out back. Um, and then. Yeah. No, no problem. But we get in, we're putting our dog out that's, in the backyard. That's completely fine. Putting our dog in the backyard. I understand. And then just turn that off. Just put it in the backyard. And I can go with you guys to get some shoes on. Yeah. I don't need to have shoes on. How's it going, sir? Okay. Um, so I'm Agent. That's Tanya. Is that your wife? Yes. Okay. I'm Agent Kai Pettis, Mexico State Police. I'll shake your hand. So right here, um, we're here to execute a search warrant on this residence, okay? It's for Corey King and it's relating to impersonating a police officer. Um, I'm sure you know, you've seen his videos where he's following us in suits with his amber lights on. And there's a few allegations where he's been pulling people over. And what does he have? He has like the, he has the video cameras, the computers and stuff. And that's what we're here to get, okay? Um, well, to, yeah, I mean, he does that for his news. So I'm I understand. No, I, no, I understand. Okay. Um, but if you guys want to get shoes on, um, you guys could eat, you guys could go in the car. None of the cars are seized, so if you guys want to leave for a second. No, and like I said, yeah, but yeah, we just have to get you guys out while we're executing the warrant. Gary, where's your gun? My guns are... And we're not here to get guns. Yeah, we're just, we're just letting you know Okay. Are. If you guys want shoes on, I'll go with you guys to get some shoes on, whatever, some water, whatever is comfortable for you guys. Found one old GoPro, but who knows have the ability to store? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so it's a photograph of this real quick. Yeah, no, we'll put is number one. Did they secure his car? No, yet. But it's still sitting out there. He's not going to leave.
Is that a studio? What is it? Borrow your flashlight and I'll look underneath the bed. Oh, shoot, it's right away. It was in this camera. No, oh, that's mine. Um, so there is a laptop underneath here. What's that? A laptop. A laptop? Yeah. Take picture in place. Let me get your marker and number. There you go. Put that by Flash isn't working. Yeah. That's number one for the one that was rocked to go for. Take photos of this. Let me see the what? I'm gonna take photos of that. What is it? Oh, it's the boxes that his LEDs came in. Corey, you haven't met me yet. My name's Agent Chalice. I'm with New Mexico State Police Investigations Bureau. Um, we would like to, like, like uh, Sergeant Diaz told you just a minute ago, you're not under arrest. You're free to go at any time. You don't want to speak to us or whatever if you wish not to, but we'd like to hear your side of the story. Yes, so if you're willing to sit down with us and just hear you tell us, we'd like to get out of the sun, I do, I sit down in there. Air conditioned. It's up to you. I but have, you can you can walk out anytime. Inside. Or we can sit right there. We can yeah, sit right inside yeah, if you wish to. But if we sit inside the, the table, inside. We're, not, we're not releasing the house. Uh, okay. For anybody else to come yeah. in other than us, okay? And it's hot. I don't want them so, out here. So and that would only side, be. I'll just talk with them. No, 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 no. That would only be an officer safety issue. So if you want to talk to us out here, we could do that, or we could talk in there. In my unit. Okay. It's up just, to you. 
Just go inside, let you guys go inside. Just, Have you released that yet? Inside, they can't have y'all in there it's a safety oh, for the officers. So before we before we let you all go inside, he's got a paper for you to sign. It's basically us releasing the house back to you, and 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 and, and also and also the items that we took from the house. Uh, at the same time, I would like for you to walk through the house with the officer to 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 make sure everything's the same way we found it. Okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Okay. Well, it's, uh, you know, I have to let you know that, one, you're not under arrest because I know that was a concern earlier on the phone. You didn't talk to me. You talked to him. I don't have a warrant for you. We are not going to jail today. However, you don't have to talk to us, and I want you to understand that. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. The thing is, is, is I know. Yeah. Sorry, up there. Person I'm witnessing. I'll get her to sign it and I'll give her the copy. Okay. Um, yeah, like, I, like I, the thing is, is like, I don't, I know specifically why you guys are here. Uh, I mean, I haven't been told yet, but uh, uh, I got in trouble for impersonating an officer uh, and I did everything I could to make sure that I didn't do nothing wrong. I've never done everything since then, so I know that's the reason that you're here, because I know I have like, you know, uh, uh, I'm just scared because I, I know where it can go and where it can lead me. Somebody called my boss already, you know what I'm saying? And I work for Wasn't us. I know, I so. know, but whatever. My boss has been notified that the state police are serving a search warrant on my house. That immediately just degrades me because I'm, I'm a reporter. I work for KRQB News. I do this stuff daily, you know? So mm -hmm. if there is any, like this right here is, is bad publicity on my on my Sorry, news. Sorry, news. Here you go, sir. No, thank you, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. It's very hot out here today. We don't yeah, want you to fall out on us. I've been in AC all day. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, uh, uh, I know specifically, like, I know nobody's told me why. I know why you're here, because I know I have never done nothing but well, that is. I, I will tell you the the warrant. Um, she's giving a copy of the warrant right now, the reason why we came into your house. Uh, he's he's giving that to your mom right now, as well as what we took from it. Um, when we sit down and, and, and talk to you, um, We'll, we'll just, uh, you know, I'm not the lead agent in this. Yeah. It's going to be Kai Perez right there. Okay. Okay. Um, so I don't want to say anything out of line because I don't know much of what's going on, okay? Yes, I did just want you to know that that uh, it's I all know. voluntarily, okay? Know, and we don't have no warrant for you. And the thing is, is for you to get a search warrant, there has to be legit evidence for you to be here, you know? So that's, that's me just knowing what I know. It's just like it freaks me out more because now it seems like there's backing evidence in some cases. For you to come and get a search warrant for my house, because the judge doesn't just sign off on that. Yeah, district attorney's know. office signed on as well as district court judge, hmm. which is a court record, and that's what we use. But they said, I said, they said I need to talk. Hey, Sergeant Diaz. Never mind. It's okay. I was going to ask if you want to just walk with mom, make sure everything was in order the way it was, and then we can start talking to him so we can get him out of the heat. Come on over there. Just get out of the road, so I don't want you to hit it. I don't want to get hit either, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they'll, they'll see you and they might purposely try to do it. on this block. That's why I was. Uh, so I honestly. And at so that, I, I, don't, I don't want you to be a part of getting hit because they aimed at me, so no, I'd rather no, everybody would, get out. The way the way I am, I would jump in and push your ass out the way. Yeah, I, I truly appreciate that. The way it looks right now, I'll put it this way uh, out of all houses on this block, this is the one no officer should be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's just really weird. And so you guys are towing my car for search warrant as well? What's that? You're towing the car for search warrant It will as well. be taken, yes. Until we process it. We're going to process it. And then everything that we take, everything that we take is your property. Yes, sir. And it eventually will get back to you. It has to go through the the, the DA's process and court process to, to relinquish. But we're not going to deprive you of that. Yes, okay. sir. We, uh, let, let, let's sit in the car here, conditioner, because... If not, I'm gonna get some cancer here from skin. <laughs> so um, the doors open. You, you can jump out. You can even leave it cracked if you wish. But we're not taking you nowhere. You know I mean? So if you want to come, just have a seat with us. Right. I don't like that you guys have to be here. You know? Uh, we'll get out of here quick. Yeah. No, I just mean in general, like. Uh, I shouldn't have a case, you guys shouldn't have to be investigating, you guys shouldn't have to be here. Just wait a minute. Go ahead and set up here. You can get the air conditioner quicker over here. Yeah, I feel good. 
Is that? Over there. I'm gonna get a, a form real quick. I'm good. Is there a notebook right here, Mr. Travis? What are you looking for? Oh, there it is. Uh, a waiver? No need. All right. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot of time. But, uh, so was it Corey? Is that your first thing? Okay. Okay. Corey might like to say before Randy, he's Stephen even child, so call me Stephen and I'm fine with that. This, uh, this is my cool park right here, Kai Perez, and, and I'm sure he's fine with just calling him Kai as well. Thank you for sitting in here and wanting to kind of give your side of the story. Um, a lot of people out there talking, a lot of people saying things around when we talked first, so I just wanted to reiterate real quick before we start telling us anything is that uh, the doors open right here because the air conditioner, you can step out any time, you're free to go any time. There's, uh, there's not a warrant for your arrest, I know that was the biggest concern. And, I'm, and I know you're still worried about that, but I'm, I'm promising you right now, I do not have a warrant for your arrest, neither does anybody here. We are not going to jail today. We are not charging you with anything today. We just want to hear your side of the story of things. So if you're, if you're willing to enlighten us on your side, I would, I would definitely like to hear it. Definitely, because I don't, I don't even know what's going on, honestly. So um, you, alerted, you alluded to a little bit of things that you think or you assumed that was going on. You want to just tell us about that? Okay, so I was contacted one time by state police officers. I don't know their two names. They came to my house. Uh, I saw it, I thought, was a stolen vehicle. The vehicle had broken back windshield, shattered brake lights, headlights, everything. I saw it pulling offsets. I called it in. He actually ducked through offsets and drove crazy. I was taking my buddy home. We kind of followed, okay? Uh, I don't remember the street we are on. I was over, he parked basically where that red vehicle was, maybe even further, and I just parked to tell dispatch where he was. There's a gentleman just walking up right here. Yeah, the, do you have the keys to your truck or your vehicle? Yeah, I do. I need to keep these keys. I just need the ignition. <laughs> the only thing I need to ask is, we don't it want, the record doesn't want mm -hmm. causing damage to the vehicle yeah. trying to pull it up. I understand. Like, Plus we'll like, need to get access to it so we can cross this. Like I said, I didn't do that so I fully cooperated across the board, you know? No, I understand. And like I said, I apologize to go this route, but you have some law enforcement experience and you've been doing right along, so you kind of see how we work, right? Sure. Um, it's kind of the step we had to do, okay? So I that, understand. and, uh, so I apologize to interfere. I hope we didn't interfere too bad. You know, we try to do it quick and as respectful so and as a professional and, as possible. You know, honestly, I understand the so way you're that you had to do it. talking about this vehicle that you saw and then what happened there? Um, so the gentleman got out of his vehicle and proceeded to walk towards me. As I'm on phone with dispatch, I'm reversing the vehicle. He's walking towards me while I'm on the phone with dispatch. I alerted to him that I'm parked in the church. I'm now backing up for my safety. The gentleman's walking towards me with his hand in his pocket. Now, I always have a firearm on me, you know, but I know in this situation, I followed him, so self-defense is kind of out of the window here because I followed him, you know what I'm saying? So I'm now, I don't care what he's doing, even if he's come to talk to me or whatever, I'm backing up and reversing. There's, there has to be this on dispatch because I'm on the phone with them. As I'm reversing, he starts coming closer to me, closer to me, getting close, and I'm backing down the street away from him. Didn't even try to turn around because I didn't, I didn't know what he was doing. And with the hand in the pocket, I had the assumption he had a firearm. Now I don't need to get in this type of situation, so I need to get the fuck out of it. As I'm backing up, I have, uh, uh, I own a security company. We've done stuff at the airport and stuff. Uh, I had to have, I have yellow lights all across the car. That's the reason you told the car. I already know. Um, I did not activate in any sort of light. I hit the air horn. Right here on my vehicle is a magnet where my Glock magnet suit, you know. Uh, right above it is the siren controller which controls lights and the horn. Instead of reaching all the way up here as I'm reversing with the hand on the wheel, all I did was go from my hand from my gun to tap the horn, 
and proceeded. That's the only thing that I ever did there. When I talked to the state police officer, we kind of discussed what, what it was. They were here at my house. I, I had the same fear when the state police arrived at my house. I spoke with them, everything, because I know how slippery of a slope I took it, but I know in, in, in my reality of it, I didn't do nothing wrong and I didn't impress the other officer. Uh, uh, as far as my assumption was, is a horn, air horn, is not emergency equipment. That was, that was my assumption uh, as far as I looked into the law. You know, maybe I didn't look far enough, maybe I don't know. Uh, previous to that, about a week or so prior, uh, as you say, um, more than likely you guys had to do it this route because I'm constantly involved with the sheriffs and everything like that. So more or less wind or anything, um, um, I understand. I also mm -hmm. talked to a deputy, I know where this is, you know, I, I understand. Uh, uh, the first stupid incident that happened, I was on the phone with Deputy Padilla because okay. I was pulling here to my house. As I pulled right here off of Ballard, vehicle flies past me, truck, Ford, maybe it's 1 a.m. or so. He hopped the curb, I reported as a DWI. I'm telling the deputy that I ride along with because I was just talking to her about a stolen vehicle and she asked me if I seen it. So instead of calling dispatch, I just called her. She was right there. Okay. I followed a cross pole, never initiated anything, okay? The gentleman pulled into his driveway, Deputy PD asked me specifically, what's the driver's license? I pull right here in the middle of the street, stop, never, you know, like when you initiate a traffic stop, sometimes you point your forward to it or nothing. Stopped in the middle of the street, right there, got the plate, told Deputy PD. Same time, the gentleman's coming to the car, angry as fuck that I followed him. Uh, uh, I don't even remember what he said, but he's coming to me. Now, this is where I completely, and, I, and you know, like, my intent in no sort of way was criminal or anything. I was reporting a drunk driver. That's all that was. Uh, uh, again, I got myself in a stupid situation, but for my fear, I was like, this. I don't know what this guy's doing. I initiated my yellow lights on the sides. So there's three different settings to my lights. I don't know if yours is like that or what. You have one that you can initiate your front, one to initiate the rear, and one to kind of do some perimeter. I did the side light, which I know was wrong, but I did the side light for my safety. I didn't know what the guy was doing. I was, I was honestly scared. Now, when I talked to Deputy Badia, I called her back. I told her everything that was going on, told him where I was. She said, put your hazards on to let the deputy know where you're at. I proceeded to fucking put my lights on, and then I got out the car as the deputy passed. He passed this way, passed the intersection, like didn't even turn on the right street. I got out the vehicle. About an hour or so prior, I responded to uh, stabbing on the, I wanna say at least the 1700 block of South Lee. As I told you before, when I go to a uh, stabbing or a shooting, I always wear my vest. So at the time, I had my vest on. That's, that's literally, I have nothing else to add because nothing else happened. Now I know that you guys already know this, you know, on because if you're investigating this, you already know what the report is or whatever. I, 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 I... Is that the only thing that you want to tell us, those two incidents? That's the only thing that's ever happened, ever. I've never, in my mind, any time that you could say that I've even got close to a person in the officer, only twice in my lifetime, and I just told you those two times. Never, ever again. So help me understand your vehicle. You talked about some lights. What are the type of, how do you have your vehicle set up? So what do you mean? So what color are the lights? Yellow and white. Every Yellow. single one on the vehicle. There's no other color in any of Negative. Lights Negative. Is there any way to alter? Negative. I mean, you would literally have to. to no, 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 uh, alternating white and, and yellow or together or is there a pattern or how does it so the only white and yellow is the bar that's up here and they all flash together it's like a weird there's it's this big and they have a flash pattern but I made sure that they're together because they can separate like white and yellow I made sure that it was together so that it's the rest of the lights on the complete vehicle is yellow and they can't even be like assumption as I made sure to get amber lights because I wanted to follow, but I also storm chase, so sometimes I'm pulling the road through tornadoes uh, so, in Oklahoma and everything. So I had to follow 50 state laws within those lights. So when you, when you, you, you who do you work for? I work for KRQE News. I work for the Chavez County News Network. What do you do for those, those places? I'm a reporter for the Chavez County, or I'm, I'm the owner of the Chavez County News Network, so I do everything for them. I'm a reporter for KRQE. And in, in the process of reporting, 
record? Do you have to work with anybody? No, I'm by myself. By yourself. So would you record anything? What do you mean? When you go out to to, to record or gather information, do you record things as well? Like stories? What do you? I, well, I, I, sorry, just can you break it down a bit more? I'm trying to understand your job. Oh, okay. So, so, you're, so, so my you're job. A reporter, right? Yeah. So my job as a reporter. So what do you? How do you perform your duties so when you go out something? On a day-to-day -day basis, like today. I get there at 7 a.m. I find a story in a sense. Like today, my story is the Roswell firefighter that died last year. Is they now have a lawsuit against the city. So I find stories like that, anything from criminal to non-criminal, and I have to send them. <coughs> excuse me. To my producer, then we kind of decide what we're doing, and then either we send me to Clovis, blah blah blah, or whatever. But on my own time, like the other night, there was a murder and the stabbing. I own the Chavez County News Network, which supplies news to the KRQE. Uh, part of our deal that we have. So KRQE doesn't directly pay me to go out at 2 a.m., but they'll pay me the next day when I do the story on it. You, you get me? So sure. at 2 a.m., I leave my house on my own time through my own business to go report the story and return. I will record the scene. Um, for the most part, you guys can't talk to me. RPD can't talk to me. I got to go through uh, uh, Dusty or whoever's delegated to, to give me PIO information. So most of the time, it's just me film the scene, go to my office, Upload to Facebook and return home. That's how I do the stories. Um, what do you use to film? 4K video camera. Did you have Do you have that camera mounted in your vehicle, or is it something you carry? I carry. The side? There's a is GoPro that's in, in the car. Is it in your vehicle now? Yeah. Is that my work? So the GoPro. What do you use the GoPro for? The in the GoPro is used for dash camera. Uh, most of the time, it's for tornadoes and. When I storm chase, because as when you're driving, you can't film. It's pretty mm -hmm. fucking difficult. I'll put it that way. Sure. Especially zoom and focus and all that. So you, you literally can't. So uh, like the other day, there was the gentleman stole the Roswell police car. I was in my car with my GoPro, filming the pursuit as I could, uh, so that I can safely drive, safely stay within your guys' bounds, not break laws, but also film without having to do this or stop on the side of the road. So the GoPro is just a dash cam in the sense. Um, okay. For the most part, when I go to stories, it's not even ever turned on because there's not like a, anything to film. Sure. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> talked about a pursuit. Uh, when was the last time that you, you filmed a pursuit? That one? Uh, Which one was that? You said the Chavez County or. or yeah, or the guy stole the pursuit. Six, I think it was. It was a third. Who was the agency that was involved in that? All three agencies. All three. You guys, state uh, sheriffs. Actually, four agencies. You had Eddy County where it ended, Chavez County, RPD, who got the vehicle stolen, and state police. All were involved. Where did it? Where did it wind up at? In uh, Eddy County is where Eddie it finished. County, where it finished it. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Is your is your film? You said it's on your, your dash pro. Oh yeah, my right? GoPro. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about the house in there to see it? So, so like uh, the only glance, the only angles that I got with the GoPro of him, uh, I pull up to the intersection at Summit in Summit in Maine. They fly past North. Yeah, North. A uh, bunch of other officers pull on through. Some sheriffs go down Summit that way. I proceed across Summit that way. Then I end up on Albuquerque. I turn north on Main about a block, and he flies past me head on right around downtown area. Uh, actually, even took a little swerve, continued. By that point, he's already at Subway ish, hitting 285. I had to go around either Richardson or Pennsylvania behind the old Sears. And then by the time I got on McGaffey, got on to Main, got on 285. We, well, like I said earlier, this is the agent who's investigating. I don't know nothing about it. I love that you told me everything that you thought was going on. I truly don't know exactly what he wants to talk to you about. I appreciate you describing all those to me, describing a little bit about what you do and how you do it and, and, and your vehicle. Um, I'm sure I, uh, Agent uh, Perez probably has a couple more questions about any of that. Yeah, um, so like I said, thank you for talking to Travis. And just to like clarify you more, um, so you said what lights are on your vehicle? So there's amber lights across the vehicle. There's two in the rear, 
Two up here, two on the side windows, two on the exterior, like 360 printer. And uh, what color are they? Yellow and white, amber and white. Okay, um, so for that last pursuit, were you using your amber lights? Negative. Through the whole pursuit, were you? I did one time, and it was the, what is it called, the traffic advisor. So it's on the very, very rear window. Mm. I had two deputies flying ass behind me on garden. Mm. I initiated the left arrow stick so they know to go around me. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling over, but they're still, it's the only time. Okay. Um, and then you said, you talked about Deputy Padilla and that. Um, did you use any recordings for that? No, that's where I fucked myself. Okay. I wish, because I have... Uh, it wasn't on, but I usually, on my vest that I use, will have like a GoPro slot that okay. I can put it on. Is that the same GoPro you use for your dash camera? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, where do you upload this, the GoPro? So, to my phone or to the, my personal computer at the office. Okay. Um, and that's where your stuff is at, is at the office? So, so the Padilla, you weren't filming it right none cause, no. because uh, uh, the PD incident wasn't a wasn't a news in any in any way it was I was returning home and I seen a drunk driver so yeah. it was more just a, a citizen just concerned that's all that that was okay um, do you know if you had your GoPro on your vest it was on the car it was on the car okay um, that's what that's what we talked about I didn't even have my I have a, usually a yellow I mean a red GoPro crash that says media and it wasn't on my vest at the time okay. too. So it's usually right there with the GoPro. So that's how we discussed because uh, like, they were asking what that's for. And I was like, that's why I put my GoPro. And they're like, you should have filmed this. Yeah, I didn't fucking know this now. Yeah. Um, then you said the other state officers were recording that during that time? No. Um, do you know what you were wearing during that time? Like when I talked to the officers? Or when you, when you talked to the officers and when you were following the guy? So I was following the guy, I was wearing like basically what I'm wearing now, even sandals. Okay. Uh, um, what about... I talked to them, I just got out the shower, so I don't know what I was wearing, but... Same thing. Basically the same thing. Uh, to go back to Officer Padilla's incident, or Deputy Padilla's incident, where, what were you wearing? You said you had a vest on? I had my full security uniform on. Okay. Which, that's... Yeah. Um, your security uniform, what security company is it? Double Eagle Private Security. Double Eagle, okay. Um, with that security company, were you on duty for that security company at that time? No, so like I said, when I respond to the murders and shootings, uh -huh. I put on my, my not so much like a gear. Yeah. Uh, every time I arrive with a pistol and my vest, and I usually wear my tactical pants and boots. So what I do when I get home, I roll my boots, pants, you know, pants over boots, fireman style. Yeah. Uh, stabbing happens, stepped in the boots, pulled up, responded to it. 30 so minutes later after I left the office, I'm returning home. I got caught up in that and I'm still wearing the current uniform. Okay. Um, and you said you have a gun on your hip. Uh, what type of gun is it? Lock 32. All right. And is that your personal or is that issued from that security company? It's my personal. Okay. Is that security company? Is it like an armed security company? No, we're just very minor. Like, uh, so we do like weddings and stuff and we've been kind of trying to get a contract out at the airport. Okay. Um, with that security company, are you provided a badge? Yes. And this is your company, right? Yes. And because we have to. Yes. We have to identify ourselves as security. Um, which being a shirt, vest, badge. Okay. And what does that badge say on it? Security. Did you say security? Does, does it say security guard, security officer, um, security? You might say security, security agent or officer. Oh, where is that at? has to be at the office on the belt. Okay. Same shit, like. Yeah, so like a lot of your stuff's at your house, or not your house, your office. It just, my vest and the fucking, like honestly, like the stuff that I respond to these calls with just sitting at the office because when I'm at the office, something happens, I have to respond. You just uh, jump in. It, and then it comes home with me, and then it goes back with me. Like right now, it's cause like, if I knew you guys wanted to see the vest and see whatever, I would've brought it to you. Cause mm. I, I, I'm, that's the reason I'm talking to you. I don't have a lawyer here. I didn't step out of this yet. Uh, uh, and I know in a way I'm gonna incriminate myself. I currently understand that. But I also know that in my full intentions that everything I did was nowhere criminal. I didn't try to impersonate an officer, period. Okay. It wasn't an intent, period. Okay, no, I understand I that. I, it's just... No, I get what you're saying. I get just, what you're saying. It just sucks, because I, like, I understand that you're investigating what you have to, but it just sucks that this position that I'm in, 
it's not my intent in any sort of way to do what I'm being questioned about. You know what I'm saying? Why would you make the statement that you're going to incriminate yourself? What do you feel that you're going to incriminate yourself on? I just said I was wearing my belt. Like, in, in my personal... I, so you're wearing something that looked like a police officer, is that what you're trying to say? It's, it's a security uniform. Okay. Uh, uh, security uniforms can be just across and the that, board. And that was when you, when you came up to the EWI? So you, you said you had turned on the lights as, as a flasher for the officer to come up and the deputy, when you saw the deputy coming up, you said you stepped outside the vehicle to, to fly down the deputies, which you had told us. What was the guy at that time when you flagged, when you stepped out of the vehicle? The guy that you, that you said was closing in on your vehicle? Mm, by that point, I want to say he's leaning on the back of his truck or so. I don't exactly remember. Did like he this. say anything to you or did you say anything to him? I think I asked him if he was drinking. That's it. What was his response to it? I have no idea. Did you tell him to stand by the police officer was coming or anything like that? Yes, sir. What exactly? How did you tell him that? I don't know. Deputy's coming to speak with you, I want to say. I mean, if, if you're specifically asking this... They... Well, here's why I'm asking that. Is I wasn't there, so I like to use the picture because you were there, right? Yeah, well, it's also... And, can you hear me out real quick? When you said you stepped out because you saw the deputy coming, he said he was sitting at the back end of his vehicle, and you said to, uh, right, have you been drinking? And then you told me I didn't say anything else. But then when I asked him, did he tell me anything about it? the officer? He was, yeah, I told him that the deputy was coming. Well, yeah, so like, I want to know everything that you told him. That's what I'm asking. So, as, like, literally, as far as I know, that's all I said, because I know, like I said, I got out the vehicle when the deputy passed. Um, yeah, I asked him if he was drinking, and then, I don't know if he said something to me, if he had, like, something go inside, I don't remember, and I was like, there's a deputy that's going to speak to you, and just, like, hang out Did right here. Did the deputy ever come and meet you all? Yeah, yeah, uh, Deputy Padilla showed up, yeah, I had six plus deputies there. Were you still on the phone with them when you dispatched when you stepped out of here? Yes, sir. I was on the phone, uh, see, the problem was, is I didn't call dispatch on that, oh, I called Deputy Padilla who also okay. was on scene, that saw what it was. I spoke with her before even following Deputy the vehicle. Deputy Padilla was coming up. Was her lights on? I didn't see. Uh, the only person that I did see was when I saw they passed. Were you, were you aware that the back flashes were on on Deputy Padilla's vehicle? So what happens with our units as well as the Sheriff's Office here when you turn on any of your light and equipment, things are recorded. So if you're on the phone, those statements are being recorded as well. Yeah. Um, do you feel that there there would be anything that you can think of now that might be different when we look at that recording and look at that report than what you're telling us today? No. I was on the phone with Deputy Padilla. Were you on the phone with any of the deputies, police department, or sheriff's office during that pursuit? No, sir. I was just uh, following pursuit, listening to the radio. Did you ever hear anything? What did you hear on the radio when you were listening to the pursuit? About, in reference to like what? What did you, what did you hear? I wasn't there. So I heard chaos on the radio. Uh, I don't know if it was RPD or SO. I heard there was pursuing. And through my current knowledge, when SO usually lock, can you turn this down a little bit? Here. Um, my knowledge is, is like state police or SL starts getting involved, the pursuit, the pursuit's going to last a little longer. Uh, RPD's not going to disengage for the public safety. I didn't know at the time it was a police car until I actually seen it pass me head on. Then I realized they were chasing a cop car. But uh, through the chaos, I was just trying to follow streets that they're yelling out, but also try to position a little ahead of this so that you can film it. Because if a car is doing 100 miles an hour, there's no way you're going to parallel this thing even at his speed to, to film him, you know what I'm saying? So you have to kind of, it's the way I've done these pursuits all the time is if they're on Main Street or Virginia and they're going to that side of town, well, I may go to Garden or Atkinson knowing that the vehicle may kind of circle around. For the most part, I fail every fucking time because the pursuits just never turn out. Uh, the ultimate 
angle to get on a pursuit is like a spike strip, you know what I'm saying? Or a pit maneuver. Uh, but you kind of have to be near or in the area to get those things. It's almost impossible to get. So uh, what I heard was chaos. I followed around till I met up with the pursuit on Main Street and then we followed out on 25. I say you got to get in front of it to get it caught. Were you passing officers in that pursuit? Negative. How did you get in front of them? I never got in front of an officer. I just was, like I said, and we can even go back and hear it, like I said, when you're going through these pursuits, if a vehicle's going at any speed, you cannot match his speed on a, on a street next to him to get in front of him or to get an angle of him passing you. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not saying I was speeding or or passing officers period because I know well, that's I, I know I know but, I, I know asking. but I never passed an officer never did nothing illegal didn't run no lights or nothing during the pursuit because my fear was I heard the amount of officers doing this pursuit I don't know who's going where who's doing what I have to be overly cautious in this sense I sat in an intersection that went green three times because I saw an officer and I didn't know if he was coming through the intersection I'm sitting at because. The officers have other priorities, you know. So, also with me following these pursuits, I have to look out for them as well. I'm not trying to rush in certain places. Even if I have an open, it's speed limits 50 and I'm doing 50, I still don't want to blatantly rush in there. There's other officers coming in. There's other things going on. And I know these type of things, so I don't just rush in there. Or even if you're on scene, I don't. I try to distance myself so that you don't feel fearful or... That's part of the reason that I have the lights on my vehicle. If I pull up on a scene, let's say you guys have a scene right here at, at night, and I pull up, a vehicle pulls up on you all ominously and stops and somebody gets out, you don't know who it is. But if I turn them yellow lights on and you've come in contact with me one time in the prior, good contact or bad, you know that that vehicle now belongs to somebody that's not going to at least harm you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe could, but that's that's literally the reason that I have those and why they're used on scene is because I don't want in any sort of way to have bad contacts with you guys or you guys have bad contacts with me. When I first started this type of stuff, uh, I used to get tried to run off of scenes and I, I never impeded a scene. I never crossed. If you guys park seven cop cars here, well, in my mentality, the last cop cars, the beginning of your crime scene. So I won't pass that last cop car. So I've had, used to have a lot of like beefing with RPD and stuff that just, they didn't know what I was doing or they thought I was doing bad or I'm filming the victims. Like there's certain ways I do my stories. I can completely, I have all right to film whatever I want, but mm -hmm. if there's an injured person over there, I'm not filming them. That's, that's just me as a, as a human being. Same with you guys. I don't try to film your face. I don't try to do none of that. Now I have the right to, but at the same time, you guys don't need that extra stuff on top of your job. So that's just how I do what I do. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I tiptoe in this as lightly as I can. I try to get these relationships with you guys that's why I try to do this documentary with the sheriffs I've been trying to do it with, with you guys but it's really difficult with insurance and stuff and I've been dealing with Captain Lance Bateman we've been trying to do it for years same with RPD and the reason I want to do it is not just let the community get to know you guys but I want you guys to know me that in any sort of the sense I'm not trying to do what you guys are investigating me for period uh, uh, by me being just this first off by me being on the phone with deputy Padilla calling a DWI driver never leaving the scene and staying there in the uniform I did not expect that that was gonna go that way because I didn't expect or, or I didn't have in my own mind the mentality that I was in person an officer you, 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 you feel me yeah. like that's that so was what, my what were you wearing on the day of the pursuit this oh, okay. so it was the the day of the DWI you were wearing security uniform yeah, and the only reason that I was in that specific uniform is because about an, at the most an hour before that, I responded to a stabbing. Now, when you saw the the vehicle with the smashed up windows and stuff, and you thought that was a stolen vehicle, and you followed that, and you came in contact with two state police, you said, what were you wearing then? You asked me before, same stuff, sandals. Okay. Uh, I might repeat no, you're questions. No, you're good. You're good. I, I understand. Uh, the whole uh, thing uh, here. Yeah, because I literally, like, came into town from so storm chasing. So you said chasing. something that was really interesting, and I don't know which which one it was that you've described to us today if it was the the one with all the the broken window or the dwi or the pursuit but you had said during one of those that um you're you're questioned or 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 cited or reported about being about about what we're talking about yeah well, can you like, tell me about that so i was man see this is where it gets fucking stupid because when I was there with the deputies, the deputy and stuff, they cited me for impersonating so an officer. This is the DWI. 
Yes. Okay. So I was cited for impersonating an officer, which, first off, surprised the living shit out of me. I did not expect that, okay? Um, they said they were going to contact administration because I have contracts with them for doing our, our filming and stuff. I contacted a chief who then contacted up, uh, just letting them know that I was arrested by their deputies. I want to say a couple days later, because I'm still freaking the living fuck out that I'm going to lose my job and I'm getting person with an officer. Because that's... I, I don't care what any of this looks like in any in any of the sense. That's not the goal. Is even if I got fucking charged with the shit, that's not my intent. That's not it's not what I'm here to do. And that's not during each of these stupid little incidents you're asking about. That was never the intent. Period. So that's what makes me even more like I, I just don't like this, and I didn't like even being questioned. Uh, uh, so they they called me and they came to the house. Um, no, not not them. That that was the state police. Sorry. Uh, they initiated the citation. Um, I was talk. I talked on the phone a couple times with chief. Uh, then they call me back on a conference call with a judge, sheriff, and chief and s ask me a couple questions and then they said that they're going to drop the charges because they didn't feel that it was an adequate arrest or something. I don't know exactly. Do you remember who the judge was? No, sir. And you said chief. Who was the chief that you're talking about? Man, I don't like throwing people under the bus like this, dude. Like... No, I, mean, I know, but the thing is, I know, I know I you're asking, and I know, I don't but know. it's like just, I told you before, I, I, I don't want to know much about this whole entire case. And, and the way, okay, and look, the look at it way, the way, the look, only way I can understand this case, I, I is get from it. somebody just, who was there. So look at it just in, in my personal perspective. I've talked to a deputy, I'm going to leave that completely off record, or whatever okay. I talked, and he didn't tell me nothing he's not supposed to. Uh, uh, I don't, he's not even involved in period, but he told me kind of that he heard through the, the way that there might be investigations into continuing the way that they handled what they handled in my arrest and my specific arrest. It's already kind of had not win, but I, I, I felt like there was being investigations done on the background for whatever they did. And, I, and you just, it, you just like went a totally different way that I was, I didn't even understand. No, so, so, so like you're I, telling me that. There's investigations being done no, about right, no, something right. else. That, no, that right now, right now is what I'm saying. Well, this is this I, is I, a lot of different things. I know, but I, I mean, kind of had an assumption or whatever that that other than SO was investigating me for impersonating an officer. Is what I'm saying. Okay. So here's what here's the only question I asked you, and I, and I, and I, know. I, and I get it. You had told me that they charged you. The sheriff's deputy a couple days later charged you. You said arrested. Did they physically arrest no, you? No, it was a it was an arrest citation. So it was a citation. Okay, into into court. They released right? me. They let me drive home. They let said, me leave with my firearm. Then you said a, a a chief and a judge called you. Chief Deputy so, Charles Easels with the sheriff department called me. Okay, so did you guys had a hearing that day? Is that what it was? Because no. Uh, well, if you want to call a phone call a hearing. Well, I mean it's COVID nineteen. I'm sure. That's how. We, yeah, that's okay. how we do court. Okay. <laughs> then, then maybe. That's why I'm trying maybe. to ask so I can understand. I don't. So, I don't know. So you basically had a hearing, described your, described what took place, and then he dismissed it from there. Don't know exactly. But Makes sense to me. That's what a judge can do, right? Dismiss a charge. You don't remember what judge he was? No, sir. Um, you said the sheriff. Is it the sheriff or a deputy? Uh, the sheriff. The sheriff. Harrington. See, what, you man, don't... why you guys gotta do that, man? Well, you're throwing I'm, it I'm, off. I know. No, I've but I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the evidence. Department ever have a chief? <laughs> so well, it's, it's they're chief called deputy. They're called yeah, under. They're called chief uh, deputies. They're yeah. called. To me, they're called under sheriffs. Yeah, they're either under sheriff or well, they okay. call them chief deputy here, but. Well, that's my ignorance and, no, and I got their you. rank structure. I got you. That's was. But like, man, like honestly, man. So you're saying you're giving me evidence about what? What nothing. Do you want to tell there's us nothing. There's no evidence. Like it's just, honestly, I don't like giving people's names because I don't. I don't know if you're investigating chief or sheriff for doing any wrongdoing. I don't know if that was wrong I'm or anything they did. You about what I, I understand, but but I could be potentially a witness in that. And I don't. I just honestly don't like. If they're being investigated for what they did, they did. But at the same time, I'm being investigated for something. So well, what that's. Did they, what did they do? I don't know. Okay, I'm not saying they did anything. In my opinion. I didn't know that you were at, I, I took it a wrong way, the way that you were asking it, because you were asking a specific name. Uh, I just know, I didn't know, like I just kind of like got defensive on asking if it was a, So if I'll it tell was, you why. Anytime we do any type of investigation on an allegation, allegation's different than a charge, right? Sir. I was flat out honest with you when I came here, and I'm still honest with you. Yes, you haven't been charged for anything. Sir. But when an allegation is made to us, we have to look into it to see if it's, if it's founded, however it's not. Sir. It could go either which way. In order for us to do a thorough investigation and, and a fair investigation for everybody, including yourself, is to know everything. Mm -hmm. So when I ask you, 
what do you mean, or who chief, or what judge, or whatever? All it is is verifying your story. So, so I when I go and ask them, hey, did did this happen? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is what happened. Okay, cool. Man. He wasn't he wasn't lying to us. I got right. You. So those are the questions I'm asking. And that's why I'm asking you. I'm not trying to. I don't know what conspiracy theory you think is going on here. I don't. Know. I, I just I, like I don't honestly. Know. You know I mean? I'm sitting in a police vehicle talking to Stu Take Cops over some potential charges that can make me lose my life, basically. Like, I, you know, you, know, you could just understand the on-edge. Like, so you I, didn't remember who the judge was? No, sir. To verify that? No, sir. Okay. Like, I just gave you the other two names. Did they just call your number directly, or you called them? They called my number. They called you. And how yeah, many they, days after this? I have no idea. Within the week, I would say, because I, I never, the way it was and, dismissed, I never had to make an appearance. Because and when, when they called you, who spoke to you first? Don't know either, either Harrington or Deputy Isis. So Deputy Isis and Harrington. Those so, two were on the phone call. So there wasn't a judge on the phone. Call. That, I told you all three were on the phone three. call. Three. Okay, I, I, don't, I assume you, asked, you were the third one. Whoever spoke to so me the first. Total of four? Yeah, in that in that sense, okay. there was. They said there was three in the room. A, a judge, Harrington, and Isis were on the phone okay. with me. Alright. On like a little. And then what did what what did they ask you? I don't know if they asked me anything, or they did. They, I think they asked me to talk to. Honestly, I don't remember what was on the phone call. We we may have talked about the arrest. We may not have. Um, what was the purpose of the call? Did you, did you talk the, about the, the, the purpose of the call was to tell me I'm not being charged. I don't know if we discussed anything or anything like that. So how did they tell you you're not going to be charged? See, I don't know if they said it's dismissed or I don't I don't know specifics. I don't want to put no words in nobody's mouth because I don't know specifically how it was told. And I don't and I don't even know of the three who But you're telling me for a fact. You were charged by a written citation. Sir. And then you got a phone call by by four individuals. They told you it's Three individuals were on the other end. I was the fourth. You're the fourth. Uh, three individuals and they told you that your the charges are dismissed or you're not being charged with it anymore or found not guilty or, or in what, any what any of it? that sense I don't know specifically uh, I, I really you would don't think if you're charged with something you would want to know what somebody told you well yeah but when somebody tells that's me that's important but basically you thought you're going to lose your job when somebody tells me uh -huh. that you're not being charged you're off or any sort of the sense I immediately I'm just like yes thank you and I block out not block out but like once you hear what you're waiting to hear in the sense like Right now, I'm, I'm honestly waiting for you guys to tell me in a couple of days that this isn't going to go any further, that I'm not getting charged, I'm not going to jail, I'm not losing my job. But until then, I won't be able to know that. But it, but what it was, was, is, that's what was there. So did you call Mr. Harrington before he called you? Yeah, I called him earlier in that week. What did you tell him then? That I was arrested. Okay. That what I can no longer, I don't, I know I told him that uh, I can't do the ride-alongs or film the documentary for some time or something because of the arrest. And then, I don't know what he said. We talked for a little bit and maybe he said he's gonna look into it. I don't know specifically. Like I said, this is about a month or so even Did you ask ago. him to look into it? No. Okay. No, and, and actually, when, I think when I talked to the judge, I even, spoke to them and told them my side where it was I was on the phone with Deputy Padilla through the entire first half like the entire thing until they got there pretty much so if you're if you're charged with uh, what was the charge the charge impersonating an impersonating officer impersonating an officer that would be a magistrate court offense here in and it happened here in Roswell so it would have been one of the Roswell judges um, do you know the judges here you don't know any of their names do you know the judges here? Yes, it's Casey Rogers and E.J. Ferrat are the magistrate judges. Do you, those, any of those names sound familiar? See, I know Casey Rogers, but I don't believe that was who was on that phone. Because I used so to work at the jail, been, so... It could have been E.J. Ferrat? could have been anybody. Like I'm telling you, I don't know who was on the phone. I do not know the judge that was there. They, I just. But they identified themselves? I believe so. Okay. Again. And like... Through the courses, like I'm telling you, I, I, I you even asked you, you're a person, you, you, you're worried about uh, uh, incriminating yourself. I told you everything that I know and everything that I've done, including to everything that I can remember. I've only asked you questions that you've made. 
I know. What you I'm saying is, that statement and I, asked you why. I know. And what I'm saying is, is everything that I've told you so far is everything I know. I'm not hiding nothing. I'm not trying to hide nothing. I arrived here. I sat in your car. I'm still sitting in this car. I have yet to yeah. leave. And, and you know, I, you can I, know leave I know that. I know that. And it's the time. thing is, is I don't want to be fucking charged with this. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll sit here till it's dark, but I know that's not going to change certain things. You already told my car, and you took certain things from my house. Don't know what. Uh, uh, but what it comes down to is my goal here and any sort of this thing is I don't want to be fucking charged with this. I didn't. You in, still have in, a copy of that citation? I have no idea. I probably not. Like, Wait, did they give you a copy of the citation that night? Yes, they arrested me. They gave me the copy. As in, every person that was there on scene assumed they arrested me and I was going to have to appear in court. That's how everything was done flawlessly, where I was even shocked because I was on the phone with the goddamn deputy and I assumed... Did you, were you ever asked to give that citation to anybody else, that copy? Negative. That citation never left my possession. It, it, it would have been thrown away, or it's still in that house if you got it. All three of those incidents that we talked about today, were they ever captured with any of your recording devices? Three incidences, you said. Yeah, you, what talked, three? About, you talked about the... the um, so only the one, one... The first one... With only the, one incident the, would be the pursuit, and that story is on YouTube for KRQE okay. and everybody and their mama to see. Well, the reason why I asked that is because... Um, to see your side of it if you had the if you had the I, DWI one or the I other wish, one I would love to see. I wish I would have had it on my goddamn vest. Okay. Like but I know where I was wrong and I know immediately after I dealt with the SO that one time. So you, it was you a couple you, weeks later. You said you know where you're wrong. Where do you think you were wrong? I shouldn't have got out the fucking car. I shouldn't have stopped. I shouldn't have fucking talked to the dude. I should have just drove home. I should have let him wreck in and kill his kids. He had two kids in the back seat drunk as shit they even told me they were like uh, uh they were mad at me told me that they're arresting me for impersonating an officer and then i was like did i blow it and they're like yeah he's clearly drunk like they let him go they let him go drinking and driving but then they give me an arrest citation for impersonating an officer i was very pissed because the dude had kids in the car and could have killed somebody i could have returned here and i could have heard 10 minutes later that there was a 1045 right at the end of the street and i'd known that i could have potentially prevented it it's the only reason i followed him it's the only reason i did what i did now like i said i know where i made a couple mistakes during that that put me and the reason they gave me that citation that never happened again ever and when i when the next time when state police contacted me there was even a billion things less happened in that case because I already knew what just happened a weekend or so prior. Like, it was basically the first thing happened, extreme learning, don't fucking wear your vest, make sure your plates are, make sure your media tags are on there, make sure you're filming, make sure you don't use your lights, don't use your fucking horn, don't use this, don't use that, don't wear your fucking belt, make sure if you do put your belt on it doesn't have your belt, your, your badge and your blah 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 and whatever. Everything was a learning experience. Everything was what it was. And every, not every time, the two fucking incidents that happened, everything, excuse my language, sorry. Like, this is just a very oh, heated did. thing. And, like, this I isn't something the I... frustration. Like, You're not and, hurting my feelings. No, and it's just, like, I know, I already knew why you guys were here. I knew what I'm being investigated for. And I know, in a sense, the way the law works, it's just on perception. It doesn't fucking matter what you say, do, period. It's their perception of you. You can be considered a personating officer just by standing there. Uh, uh, I, I've, 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 after I got that first initial citation, I did all the reading I could, everything I knew, went back in to, to triple check that my lights were good, that I was following the laws, because I promise you, I don't want to be a fucking criminal. I don't want to be in your car. I don't want to talk to you from this side. Basically, I want to see you, you shake my hand, and, and talk about the good story or, or whatever. I never, ever imagined ever having a search warrant ex executed on my house, my personal house or my parents' house. You know, I don't have a personal house, but I just meant even as a, as a grown adult, I never imagined having police officers search a search warrant on my house. And I definitely never expected to be arrested for a personal officer. And in my full mentality and everything I had and everything I'm thinking at both of those times, I did not criminally intent or anything thought I was impersonating an officer. I, I, I'll put, I'll, I look back on it now, I know where I was fucking wrong, you know, like I know where it can potentially be and why they gave me that citation. I know what it was and I know how to never, ever get in that situation again. But the problem is, is now I'm still having to drag this around and I'm still having to deal with this and this, this fucking, 
Well, this takes care of it. You know what I mean? Like, I know you're sitting here shagging around, but this takes care of it because, you know, part of, as you know, part of our job is what? To gather the facts, right? So people think we're just, yeah, we're doing the investigation, but that doesn't make us, like, think you're, we're not assuming you're guilty or anything. We have to get the facts, right? I don't know, but so just... we're, a lot of our job is to clear your name as well. You know what I mean? Like, people don't view it as that, but a lot of it is. I, I really hope. Does that make sense? Invest, yeah, I really hope this investigation helps clear my name, but it's just, you towed my car, uh, uh, you took something from my house. Uh, I know the only two things that I had in there was a jar of marijuana that I grew during my medical marijuana card, which was last year. So did you take that? Can you tell me that you took that? Yeah, I didn't. didn't. Find it, so you okay. must have heated well. No, it's just sitting in a drawer. What did you take? Can you tell me? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's on there. It's a GoPro. Oh, your mom has it. Oh, okay. Uh, a GoPro and a computer. I'll, I'll put it that way. The GoPro you got doesn't even fucking work. All right. you, ha you must have the one that came from a drawer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a GoPro 3 or something, a computer? Yes, there's a laptop under your bed. Where's the ones that work? It's at my office. At your office? I'll, I'll give them to you. Like, you don't even gotta, honestly, if you can, I'll, I'll promise you, I'll just give it straight to you, because if you, to get into that building and to get that fucking computer, you have to file a search warrant, and I do not, that's KRQV's building, that's my boss's building. Yeah. I do not, don't, I don't, like, somehow, while I'm standing out here talking to your, your officers, my boss called me and told me that there's state police serving a search warrant on your house, that somebody called and told him that. So, that had been your mom. My, my mom would not call, because my mom would. Your mom said she called you. Yeah, she called me. My mom would not call my boss to potentially risk well, my does. job. So I'm just, that's fine. I'm just meaning my boss already per, already knows about you serving a search warrant. I don't need any further negative stuff hitting me with my job, you know? Like, um, and, and, well, I think I understand everything that you've told me. Um, so Agent Kai might have. No, I think, you know, you've been 100% cooperative with us, but. Like I said, part of our job is to clear your name. Yeah. And I think we're gonna have to go, like forensically download your hard drive. Yeah. Um, that way, like I said, a lot of our job is to clear your name and get the whole facts together before we do anything, right? So I think we do need to get that laptop. And like you said, you said it's harder to do. Like you don't want us. To, you're willing to give us a laptop to forensically download it. Yeah. Um, since you have more um, experience than me on that, would Sergeant Hernandez have to come? to Roswell tomorrow and download it for a laptop. I know for phones it's easier, but for phones a laptop. Easy. I'm not sure what he has for a laptop, but I know a couple of people in this area. Well, it's actually a, it. it's a computer. Like a... Yeah, it doesn't desktop. doesn't have a desk. It's all built into the screen, but it's no. just a touch screen computer. But that's where, that's the only video fucking software stuff that I have. Um, what do you think, Agent Chavez? Because... You said you downloaded GoPro to your phone. Yeah, but it doesn't your phone you're able to view through like live but then you have to go plug into the computer because okay so look, I have Apple and if, if I had my Mac which was normally running perfectly fine my buddy crashed it ran over it with his truck it's fucked so what you can do with an Apple is you can airdrop something within like half a second like pictures straight to your phone so what I normally do with the laptop stand that I have there my Mac sits right there I plug my memory card in directly to my Mac throw it onto the photos within the computer and you airdrop it within 20 seconds or so directly to your phone, edit it on your phone and post through Facebook on the phone. But now my Mac's broke, so I have to plug my card into the computer, go through iTunes, then plug this into the computer and then transfer from iTunes to here. Have you transferred the stuff to there? No. What stuff? Well, you just told me. Yeah, I've transferred to stories. So you want to see news stories? So you go through iMovie, which it has to transfer it, where's it? iMovie that you have to transfer it through, right? So here's all the news stories that I've done in, in since back, what date is this? This is a February 20th, okay? So any news stories, anything that's recorded is right here, but it has to see, so here, pursuit. So you right here. See the... But this is from GoPro, right? Yeah, like you had to do it from the laptop to this? You have to go from the well, GoPro, pop the memory card out, plug it in the computer, transfer it through iTunes, then bring it onto so here. So it's all that stuff still on that memory card? You have the GoPro. 
flying, but have you? I don't you know. said that's you a broken GoPro, GoPro, right? No, 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 the one in my car. Oh, okay. It's on the dash. When you transfer it, do you erase the memory card and put a fresh one in? Or? Uh, uh, I put the same memory card, but it just depends on how much memory is on the card. I like to leave as much video as I can. Because uh, a lot of times there's like storm videos and stuff that I can go back. So sometimes it gets deleted and sometimes it's left. That GoPro probably hasn't been turned on in a while, so everything's probably still on there. And then like the way it's like hard docked, you said that computer's at your office? Yeah. And this is just from my experience. Um, so like obviously like I got to clear your name, right? I got to yeah. do my investigation. I know. Um, and it's faster. If, like you said, like you could just give it to us instead of doing a search warrant. Yeah. Okay. Um, that way, we I can't promise you you get back tomorrow, but like we probably could get somebody That's here within. Cool. Like, okay, let's put it this way I need that computer to record my voice tomorrow for the story. If I can transfer it to you like at four o'clock, you can have it all weekend until. But I, it's the thing is, I that's what records my news story for the audio. There's not no other way you could record your audio. You can't get a digital recorder to do with your audio. That won't go put, like, I can't put that in the computer. You can't take off the memory card and put it in the computer? Oh, I probably could. Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, you guys can come and pick up the computer whenever. I'll fucking deal with what I got to deal with. Because in, in my case, I'm trying to clear my fucking name. No. That's why I'm willing to just give it to you. Because I, like I said, I know where I kind of teetered the edge and went too fucking far but I also mm -hmm. know what I wasn't doing and, and, and I should and first of all I shouldn't be sitting in a car I shouldn't be getting to talk to you so that's why I, across the board I want to help clear my name yeah. I, I want I want to be able to live a free life and not have to worry about being arrested next week with a search yeah. warrant do you do you need a break I need to fucking quit I need, <laughs> I need to no it's not I need a break from talking to you guys it's just like if you need anything more just keep asking but it's just I I'll like I said I'll stay here forever that I need to to fucking make sure that I help clear that, my name because I just I don't even I don't even like going the possibility yeah. of just walking inside knowing that I'm still potentially facing a, an arrest warrant. All right, so like I said, like the faster we can get this stuff, the faster you get it back, right? If you're able to provide us passwords and whatnot, we're able to give it back to you that much yeah. faster because we have us we have people that download it and they can come bring that computer stuff and download it for you and give it back to us. We're, if you don't give it to us, then we have to send it off. That usually takes months. Yeah. But if you give us passwords, and it's easy. We just download it. It takes it like an hour to download. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh and then we'll give it to you. Um, so this is also a thing, okay? So part of that search warrant was your phone for audio or audio and videos, like the GoPro. We asked for hard drives that store video and data. That's all we're looking for is video and data that's all we're looking for okay mm -hmm. um we're not looking for your messages we have no, part of that warrant we part of the new electronic act yeah. we had to specifically ask for text messages and whatnot yeah we don't we yeah, don't so have that do. so i'm gonna ask for your phone right now i cannot fucking give you my phone like this is the only way i can work it's part of the search warrant i know i get that uh fuck there's nobody that can transfer this shit like immediately what do you like, need I need the phone. Like, I need the functionality of a phone. Nothing to do with anything else on here, a memory or nothing. I need the functionality of my cell phone. Like what? Because I have work tomorrow. Uh -huh. I have to email, phone, contact, all my work. I don't have, everything's here. You don't have your, your laptop? Another laptop? The yeah. iPad? I don't have nothing. This is what, because I'm the only reporter down here. No, oh, they have it, but there is a copy of the... That's the one for the vehicle, but they have the one for the cell phone. make a phone call right now and ask how soon that guy could be here tomorrow to download it for us and I think there's another one we'll, we'll make it work for you because I, I need it ASAP like fuck man what the fuck like I thought this was going well and it just immediately fucking that doesn't mean it's going bad no, that does not mean know, it going bad know, right I know but it's just like it's not even like bad it's just more like now I just have more stress on me because you I don't think you can't use your mom's phone for a little bit no 
uh, uh, the only way I have access to Workday is through this cell phone. Is what? Workday. What's That's, Workday? It's the way I log in. It's the way I talk to my boss. It's the way I work. We all do it through Workday. It's, this is the only access I have. And you can't download it on your mom's phone? No. Why can't you download that it's app on a, your mom's it's phone? A, it's a locked, like it's a secured Nexstar media news fucking thing. Uh -huh. I, they had the fucking... They had to download it to your phone? Yeah, they had to log in and free up the Do phone. you have it on your Mac? The Mac's broke. The Mac's my personal computer. But you don't have you don't have any other way. Workday is not on my script writing computer. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we can give it back. So we can work on it as soon as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's where that's the problem that I run into. Is first I need to even call my boss, tell him what what's going on. No, I, well, yeah, well, I know, I know. We'll but allow everything like that. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I can't be a hundred percent like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, like um, okay, so like you already said. Uh, uh, Somebody can go in and find out if it's deleted or whatever the fuck. A forensic, like we have to forensically download it. I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know, but I know that you guys can also tell if shit's been download or deleted or downloaded or whatever. Yeah. You can't let me keep my fucking phone to work with, because you'll still be able to know if anything's been taken off of the phone. Mm -hmm. Yes, and no, because people could destroy their phone. So say I let you take no, your phone, that. people you I could just that. burn it in the fire. I get that, but yeah, I can't I, do anything I, about I, that. I understand that, but it's also. I'm not just anybody. I, I and I know I know you kind of can't fucking do that, but at the same time, yeah, you know I have to I mean? treat everybody like I get that. regular. But the thing is, is I, I, I have to give you the phone if it's in the fucking warrant, but at the same time, I can't. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll let you call your boss. We'll let you do anything. What the fuck, man? And Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. That's stupid. Like, yeah, it's part of the deal. Uh, it's just part of it. So that way okay, we so, can. So can I take my Sims card out? No, the way it's intact has to stay. You sure you can't call nobody? Because that's, that's the way yeah. I can get my service. Because I can't so, do anything with. So, uh, did you get a? Pa What's the password to your phone? Okay, so hold on. I'm still trying to figure out. I'll give you the password. It's not a problem. The thing is, is this is my work cell phone. First off, they pay the sixty bucks a month for the bill, but it's not about the bill. What I mean is, is for me to access and work from where I'm at right here in Roswell, I have to have this cell phone. I have to have this work day. Uh, uh, and like I was telling him, like I'm fully cooperative, whatever you take, whatever you want, whatever you need. I need my cell phone to work though. Like I said, the faster you, you give it to us, the fa like know, we can make arrangements to is, give it to you tomorrow. You can't guarantee to have it to me by, by early in the morning. That's the only way I can contact. Go ahead and step out and you step out and we'll talk about this over Does Sergeant Hernandez work tomorrow? Huh? Does Sergeant Hernandez work tomorrow? I can't hear you. Sergeant Hernandez, does he work tomorrow? No. No? Okay. Huh. So here's the deal. Go ahead and set the phone down right here. Yeah, I know about the phone. It's not, not nothing about that. It's, what I'm telling you is look right here. Can you, can you stay? I get it. We're going to try as hard as we can to get it back to you as quick as we can. But what I'm trying to tell you right now is we have a court order for that phone. I understand. I understand, I understand your work concern. I really do. I understand that. Um, but we're going to take the phone and we're going to upload it. We're going to try to speed it up as quick as we can for you. So we're going to call call Hernandez and, and everything else to get it done. If not, we'll get somebody here hopefully do it. Will you take this and make a couple calls then? Because I have to notify people that they won't be able to notify me tomorrow. Like I have to let my boss know. I have to let a bunch of people know that I'm fucked. Do you have the phone numbers? I'm going to call him right here. Take it right down the phone numbers. I'll answer. I'm calling my boss. Okay. In half a second. Okay, go ahead and do it. His film is normally done 
on a GoPro and he, and he doesn't erase that SD card and it's inside the GoPro in his vehicle. So I think that's, that's you have it. So, yeah. do you think we should go to this uh, work computer or no? Uh, no. Computer? I, I, I wouldn't. Yes. If, if. Thing, make sure I get everybody. Everybody's phone number. What's the Did you turn it off? No, I just closed it. Just push the side button, swipe up from the bottom. Swipe up from the bottom. I got it. Yeah, I'll put it on airplane mode. I'm being fully cooperative. I'm not trying to do nothing. Well, I know you are, and I appreciate that. Really fucked up, man. and I, I know you guys are doing what this goes through. It just fucking hurts. It's we hurts. have we have to do a thorough job, or we're I not doing anybody any justice. I, right? I, I, I fully I fully get it. I just mean it just personally. It just fucking hurts. Um, I'm gonna do uh, another return inventory. I'll just for the phone. Can I borrow your pen okay. again real quick? Uh, yes, you may. Yes, you may. There you go. Was it found inside the house? It's on him. Huh? On him. It was on him. So we're just seizing it. We'll just do another. Yeah, let me give you this form. Oh, dude, we appreciate everything you told us. We appreciate you hanging that picture for us. I 
place. We'll have for his work uh, as quick as What type of phone is it? iPhone 10? Yeah, iPhone X. Who is this from? Alright, Corey, I just need to sign this right here. So I need you to print your name right there, print and sign next to it, and then sign right here. I'm gonna sign right here, sorry. Right next to it. And you said that GoPro it had the SD card in it still, the memory card? It should. So, go to this worker. We're good. We're good. Thank you very much for your time. We'll be in touch. You have all his contact information. I have no way to contact him. Okay, well, card. My email, our office number, and everything like that, okay? If you have some questions as going on, reach out to him. He's the case agent in this, and then he'll let you know as it goes, okay? All right, sir. Emails, cool. Thank Any you. other questions? All right, appreciate you, Corey. Take care, okay? And uh, hold on, let me get a number to reach you by. No, for your, so I can give you back the phone. You know what I'm saying? What's mom's phone number? So I'll call her to get your phone back, okay? And like I said, it should be back tomorrow. You guys can um, just do it. I know, I know you, you can't really do it, but yeah. as fast as you can, man. I'll try, man. I understand, okay? Um, I get what you're coming from, but it, it's, it should be done. If not, Friday by Monday at least, okay? Um, when I head to the office.